Let's take a moment and talk about some strength feats for Bane. Bane is actually a very underrated character on this app. I'm not sure why. Master strategist, a amazing hand-to-hand -hand fighter, and of course, yoked up beyond belief, Bane is a very dangerous character. So let's start our Bane train with a little bit of strength, shall we? Let's start off with Batman issue 489. This is Bane's best friend, Killer Croc. And we see Bane absolutely manhandle Killer Croc. All joking aside, Killer Croc is not someone you want to mess with. We see this happen multiple times, like Detective Comics 660, where Bane once again outpowers and beats the shit out of Killer Croc. Let's step it up a notch, and for every evil Arkham War issue 2, Bane feels like crocodiles are just not his thing anymore, and starts manhandling a man bat. We see again in Arkham War issue number 6, we see Bane taking on a good chunk of Batman's rogue gallery. We see people like Mad Hatter, Killer Croc, Mr. Freeze, Black Mask, Poison Ivy, so on and so forth. All of them juiced up on Venom. And Bane beats the shit out of them. But let's step it up again. Salvation Run, issue number four. Not only does Bane wrestle this dinosaur, but he snaps his neck. Let's step it up again in Detective Comics issue number 19. Bane goes up against these Court of Owl members and rips them in two. Let's keep stepping it up. In Secret Six, issue number three, this is Cheetah, one of Wonder Woman's villains. She's able to contend with Wonder Woman on a physical level. But listen, Bane doesn't give a shit. Big Daddy Bane was able to hold her in place and wrestle her long enough for the rest of his team to jump in. Hell, in Secret Six, issue number 23, Bane is very proficient at disarming people. We see as far back in Vengeance of Bane, issue number one, that Bane can outright wrestle sharks. And I'm not going to show the whole fight, but in Detective Comics, issue 666, Bane goes up against Jean-Paul Valley as Batman. And is not only taking a bunch of hits, but is beating the shit out of him. But here's the thing that makes this so impressive. is the simple fact that Jean-Paul Valley is an enhanced metahuman. And if you watched K the God's video, you know that Jean-Paul Valley's strength level is absolutely absurd. And let's end off on a fun fact. In Batwoman issue number 22, we find out from Batwoman, regardless of having Venom or not, Bane is still considered a metahuman. Her exact words are, even without a recent dosing, he has metahuman speed and reflexes and superhuman strength. Don't ever sleep on Bane. Yeah, he's lost to Batman a couple times, but it's Batman. Bane is a dangerous, powerful enemy, and his strength is not something to sleep on.